Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to be talking about a great precious metal play that I like. I do not have any current position in this stock, but I'm definitely heavily watching it. With that being said, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just here to give you information. So please do your own research. My name is Jacob Braun, and I host a Monday night episode on Best of Us Investors. If you want to stay up to date on my stuff, check out my Twitter at Real Jacob Braun. Before we get started, let's just talk about why people invest in precious metals, specifically gold. With this segment, I really just want to talk about the broad idea of investing in gold. Um, you see many big investors who are very big proponents of gold. For example, Peter Schiff is probably the most famous one. And I found a great article kind of highlighting the main points of why we invest in gold. And I'm going to jump over to that now. So gold investing really has a few reasons. Um, the number one uh, reason is that gold maintains its value. So gold has maintained its values over centuries. It, originally, it was used mainly for jewelry and other things because of you know its shine and its look. But now it's actually got a huge use in semiconductors because of its um, elect electrical properties. Because And as we all know, we're just using more and more semiconductors and we have a semiconductor shortage. So the use for gold is just going up and up and up. So gold actually has a real use outside of just being a store value or outside of just looking pretty or being used to jewelry. Um, number two, Gold is a very well-known hedge of inflation. And right now we're in a very high inflation time. We're sitting around 8% inflation, and that might be sustained for a little while. Because gold kind of has a set value over time, you'll see gold kind of rise with inflation. So people typically invest in gold during high inflation periods. And that is because it kind of has a set value. Uh, number three, portfolio diversification. Anytime you can allocate money into a different asset class, for example, real estate in your house, for example, gold, uh, for example, crypto, you're kind of diversifying your money across different areas. So if one area or one thing gets attacked or goes down, you still have assets in another area. Diversification is a, uh, is a great way to maintain the money you have. That's, that's probably the best way to describe diversification. Diversification maintains because you're you're spreading out your risk it's very unlikely that every single thing will get hit and go down um another thing like we see right now it provides great stability during geopolitical crises so before russia invaded ukraine over the past few years they've actually been building a stockpile of gold because gold goes across uh, borders, gold goes across currencies. So gold is great in times of uncertainty or in times when you don't know what to trade. So, and, and, and for example, in some countries where the dollar, their, their currency's just gone to nothing, well, gold has maintained its value and still used readily to trade in those countries because, you know, everyone knows gold. It's not, it's not tied to a bank, which can just print endlessly amounts of gold. Gold has a finite amount of value and it won't just lose its value overnight. Uh, another thing, gold provides liquidity and can easily be uh, traded in and out, which is very helpful, especially if you buy physical gold. So we've talked about a few different things of gold. You know, Newmont's a gold mining company. You can buy the GLD uh, ticker, which is kind of a gold spot ticker. Um, there's different ways to invest in gold. But if you best invest in physical gold, you have something in your possession that you can easily flip for money and that you can use in times of uncertainty or in you know hard situations. So physical gold is another great way to invest in gold. Um, and then finally, the, the global supply of gold is shrinking. You know, there's a finite amount of gold in the world. And yes, we're mining more in a sense, just like in a sense, you know, we're mining more Bitcoin or we're we're printing more dollars. But the difference between you know Bitcoin and gold and the dollar is. Bitcoin and gold, because, you know, Bitcoin is kind of the digital gold. Uh, both of them have a finite amount. The dollar is just going to keep being printed. You know, a great thing I heard uh, be said um, by Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's business partner at Berkshire Hathaway, is the dollar is going to go to zero. And you, you're thinking probably the dollar is going to go to zero. That doesn't make sense. You know, the dollar is a dollar. No, but because of inflation, the dollar of today will be zero dollars in the future. So if you go back a hundred years, the dollar of that day is worth, uh, our, our dollar is worth about like, uh, it's, it's gone down like 99% from like a hundred years ago. 
And that's just going to continue going on and on until our, our value is the dollar's value is almost worthless. Um, and again, that's relatively speaking, that's speaking to the past, whereas gold would kind of maintain the same value across those same time periods. That's what we're saying about it being great against inflation, it having a finite amount of supply. So gold is a great investment. That's kind of, you're not going to make a ton of money investing in gold. But what, what gold does is gold provides stability and safety. And those are two things that can't be understated. You know, it's easy to go for, you know, big moonshots on investments and try to make a bunch of money. But at the end of the day, taking low risk investments and having some stability and safety is a very important and part of investing because that's, that's how you manage your risk. You don't want to take too much risk in your investment because too high of risk in your investment will risk losing everything. And at the end of the day, you got to be smart balancing your risk between high risk and low risk things, depending on your age and your your living situation. And so gold just is a great kind of steady thing. Again, that's not really going to lose much, not going to gain much. Again, you, there, there's exceptions. Some people make a lot. Some people lose a lot with gold or betting on risky mining stocks. But overall, gold is a very stable and good investment to make in times of in any time, really, especially in these times of high inflation and global uncertainty, because we know that gold is a sh- for sure thing. I have a company that I really like for this situation, and it's Newmont Corporation. And we're going to look at it. This is my Twitter real quick. Uh, we're going to look at stockcard.io, which is a tool I use for that uses AI to kind of help dive into different companies. Um, but this, the price for gold right here over the past year has gone up substantially uh, in part because of inflation. And recently, this recent spike is because of the, the war with Ukraine and Russia. So if gold's going up huge recently, and I would say inflation is most likely going to continue, we see the price of gas going up because of the war. We see the price of um, different products going up because of the war with uh, disrupted shipping. So if inflation is most likely going to continue to go up, uh, then and we have chaos in the world, then we're most likely going to see people invest in gold. So in that situation, what's a good company for that? Like I said, Newmont Corporation. So Newmont Corporation, the reason I like them is because they pay a dividend. Um, many other companies uh, in the gold in the gold and precious metal industry will pay a dividend, but not as high as Newmont. Or if you invest just in pure precious metals like gold or silver, you're not going to get a dividend at all. So one thing I like about this in, it, over investing in the physical asset is one is liquid. You can easily trade it in and out rather than have to go to a store and sell it. But two, you get that dividend. And uh, what I like about Newmont uh, Corporation is it has mines across the world. We have mines in US, Argentina, Australia, Canada, the Dominican Republic, Ghana, Mexico, Peru, and Suriname. So you have mines across the world uh, and they do more than just gold. They're primarily gold, but you have a 5% of the revenue comes from silver, 2% from copper, and 5% from other materials. So that gives a little bit more diversification outside of just gold, which I like to see. Additionally, um, we can see they've had a solid one year here, up 37.63%. And that's really good in correlation to the increase in price of gold. But with that, uh, our dividend yield has dropped. Uh, earlier, it was at in, in the 3%. Now it's at a 2.83%. Many investors expect that to be increased because the, with the additional price of gold, um, the company is making more money. So I would expect that to be increased um, as we go on. Zakar.io here says we had a fair a fair growth potential. Yeah, this, this company is not going to explode. Um, it's a very stable company. You're going to get slow and steady growth. And it's very correlated to the price of gold. So if gold all of a sudden drops a lot, then this stock's going to have a, a big drop. If gold goes up a lot, this stock will go up. Um, another thing is it has very stable operations. So this, this company has put consistent revenue out for many years now, and that's good. Analysts are mixed. Uh, most tend to stay to a hold. I say if you're trying to get into uh, precious metals, this is a good investment. But for the average person, this may not be an investment for you. Um, overvalued stock. Well, I don't think it's an overvalued stock. Um, th- this is based on the the analysis of like the fundamental or the fundamentals and the aspects of the stock and how it's being traded and whatnot. And for example, the balance sheet. But this isn't forward looking. For example, we think 
where I think that the price of gold is going to go up because of the continued inflation, the continued conflict. So right now, this may be a little overvalued and with today's world. But if you think if you're trying to get into precious metal investing and you're looking forward and you think that the price of gold is going to keep going up, then this stock would not be overvalued. Um, so we see this chart kind of gradual up right here. And if we look back at the price for gold, it's a very similar chart. And like I said, the both of these assets correlate very closely. So you're really dependent on the price of gold. So if you invest in this, you're going to want to be kind of watching the price of gold. Um, with that being said, I hope uh, this put a new company on your radar, a company that's a precious metal company, if you're trying to invest in precious metals, and a company that pays a dividend um, at that. If you're interested in this, or if you have any other companies you want to talk about, please reach out to me on Twitter or uh, my Seeking Alpha profile. And I'd love to talk to you guys. And a lot of my best ideas come from uh, interactions with the community. So please reach out. And with that being said, have a good day.